B to understand his environment, man undertook the task of finding out the forces at work in nature. Now this has led him to make discoveries, incredible discoveries, amazing feats in science. While we celebrate these feats that science has been able to achieve, there are issues that we must talk about as regards the application of science. And these issues, we refer to them as the ethical issues in science and development. So by the end of this class, you should be able to identify at least five good practices of science and five ba bad practices of science. You should also be able to list five effects of good practices of science in our country and appreciate the difference between right and wrong practices and also be able to make decisions based on your understanding of these practices. So let's ride on. Scientists all over the world have made significant discoveries, no doubt, and these discoveries have triggered very remarkable developments in so many areas of living. They cover the areas of medicine, agriculture, production and manufacturing, housing, transportation, communication, and so on and so forth. The list is endless. Some of these discoveries are right, while others may have been misapplied. So examples of practices of science and application of science are improved medical services, agriculture, as it relates to food preservation, tractor harvesters. You also have the development of improved species that are resistant to diseases in household equipment. We have the toaster, the blender, the cookers, the microwave. We also have the vacuum cleaners and so on and so forth. All these equipment do make work household work easier. In communication, we have the development of the advancement in telephone, computer, television, radio, and so on and so forth. In housing, we have the development of story buildings that help to economize land use. In transportation, we have aeroplanes, cars, ships, electric trains that move at very amazing speed. These are all applications of science. Indeed, there is no doubt that scientific discoveries have brought comfort and development to mankind. However, there are few scientific discoveries that are considered wrong and are issues of concern due to their adverse effect on humanity. Some of these wrong discoveries are abortion, which supports termination of human life. Abortion, which is actually the termination of pregnancy. That was one wrong application of science. We also have nuclear and biological weapons that are usually deployed in wars. And you have euthanasia, which is the killing of someone painlessly, allowing someone to die. The implications of the right application of science. Number one, scientific technology has led to improved and modern means of transportation, e.g. the aeroplane, that makes millions of kilometers of journeys in hours. The production of insecticides, fertilizers, pesticides, which has also improved ag agriculture. Also, communication, telephone, radio, television, all these have developed the quality of human life and has re reduced the world to a global village. So, you are able to communicate virtually with anybody on the planet Earth. In household appliances, we have improvements in blenders, electric and gas cookers, toasters, and like you said, the electric cookers, the washing machines, the vacuum cleaners, 
these are a huge list of household equipment that have been developed by science to help house chairs quite well, easy. And in the areas of medicine, we have improved medical services, extra mach machines, all kind of surgeon vaccines. All these have aided the cure of diseases, some of which were believed to be incurable before now. The adverse effect of scientific application can be seen in the following areas. Abortion, the use of technology to produce nuclear weapons, euthanasia, production of biological weapons, and the production of guns and other arms that are used in the destruction of life. These are the negative effects of science. These are misapplications of science. The science must be developed. It must be developed for the betterment of mankind, for the advancement of the human race. So every advancement that attacks the human race, that attacks humankind, is a wrong application of science and as such should not be encouraged. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things. So at the end of this class, you've been able to learn the good practices of science, the bad practices of science, the effect of good practices of science, and appreciate the difference between the right and the wrong practices, and also be able to make your decisions based on those practices. I urge you, whatever you go, Whatever your cause, whatever your motive, ensure that it is for the good advancement of the human race. So here's your assignment for you to undertake. We await your response as soon as possible. Good luck. Mm -hmm.